to my channel today we are going to cover NPV in particular we are going to cover how the machines are replaced and also we are going to cover the decision whether to lease the machinery or buy it outright so this is found on um, financial management FM for, from ACCA website it's the same question from September December 2018 now together with together with, with you we are going to cover question 31 let's go to its requirements required a 1 assuming that the new machine is operated for a 3 year period evaluate whether Melanie Co should use leasing or borrowing as a source of finance 6 marks using a discount rate of 10% calculate the equivalent annual cost of purchasing and operating the machine for both 3 years and 4 years and recommend which replacement interval should be adopted 6 marks Critically discuss four reasons why MPV is regarded as superior to IRR as an investment appraisal technique. Today we are not going to cover part B but we will briefly cover part A of this question. Let's go to the, to the scenario. Melanie Co is considering the acquisition of a new machine with an operating life of three years. The new machine could be leased for three payments of 55,000 per annually in advance. Alternatively, the machine could be purchased for 160,000 using a bank loan at a cost of 8% per year. If the machine is purchased, Melanie Co will incur maintenance costs of 8,000 per year per at the end of each year of operation. The machine will have a residual value of 40,000 at the end of its three year life. Melanie Co's production manager estimates that if the maintenance routines are upgraded, the new machine could be operated for a period of four years with maintenance costs increasing to 12,000 per year per at the end of each year of operation. If Operated for four years, the machine's residual value will fall to 11,000. We are back to the requirement. Number one is say, assuming that the new machine is operated for a three year period, evaluate whether Melanie Co should use leasing or borrowing as a source of finance. Now, before we, we get into the answering that question, I want to explain something. If we are told that payments are made in advance, in NPV technique or in NPV language, PEP in advance, it means in advance of year one, the payment in advance of year one is paid in year zero. And if the payment is paid at the end of the year, it means the payment for year one is in year one. If it's in advance, the payment of year one is in year zero. That is advanced. If it's paid at the end of year one, it means it's year one. That's how we interpret uh, these uh, concepts in NPV. Now we are told that um, Melanico should make three payments in advance of 55,000 when leasing this asset. In this instance, we have to discount these uh, lease payments using the, the cost of borrowing net of tax but this question said ignore taxation so the cost of borrowing is eight percent we'll use the cost of borrowing to discount the lease payments and also use the cost of borrowing to discount the purchase of uh, the machine now we are told that is paid 55 in advance for three years so if it's paid 55 in advance for three years it means it will be paid in year zero also paid in year one and two that's the payment in advance then now we need to discount how do we discount 
I'll use the shortcut in here, zero. The discount rate is always one. Then in year one, it's one. It's one divided by 1.08. Then in year two, it's discount rate for year one divided by 1.08. Then three discount rate for year two divided by 1.08. Why I'm doing this, a lot of us will be taking on the computer-based exam, so we need to familiarize with our Excel. Then when we want to calculate the, the present values, we will say the cash flow multiplied by the discount factor. Then uh, we can drag our formula there. Then now, when we want to find the MPV, when we want to find the MPV, we have to sum up all the present values from year zero up to the end. We get that. Then when we are using the Excel and we don't want to go via the discounting and the present values, when we get our cash flows, we can calculate the net present value using the Excel technique MPV whereby we say MPV it will ask you the rate then the discount rate there is 8% we put a comma it will calculate it will, it will ask you the, of, for the values which is our our cash flows mind we should take all the cash flows from year 1 those that are discounted not by 1 then we add the dis, the cash flow for year 1 that is by one then we get our NPV like that now let's go to the buying option the buying option we are told that uh, we can buy this machine for 160,000 then at the end of the year at the end of year three it should have a residual value of 40,000 then we are also told that uh, Melanico will incur maintenance costs of 8,000 each year. So 8,000 year one up to year three. Then we can sum up that to get our total, our total cash flows. Then from there, we can have our discount factors of which it's in year one it's one in year two in year in year zero is one in year one it's one divided by one point zero eight in year three in year two we divide by one point zero eight we do the same for year three then from there we can calculate we can calculate our MPV as the total cash flow multiplied by the discount factor. We get that. Then when we want to get the MPV, we sum all the present values like that. When we are using Excel NPV formula, we find we put our rate here as 8%. Then we take our cash flows from year one. Our cash flows are here from year one up to year three like that. Then we add the cash flow for year zero. We get that same MPV. So now our decision is we we'll choose the, the lowest MPV as the cost. As this leasing will cost us 153,080, but the buying option will cost us 148,000. So the buying option is cheaper. So the decision here is to borrow and buy the machine as it is cheaper. Now let's come to item two using a discount rate of 10%. Calculate the equivalent annual cost 
of purchasing and operating the machine for both three years and four years and recommend which replacement interval should be adopted. The equivalent annual cost, the formula is net present value divided by the annuity factor. Now, we are now used to calculate the NPV. So for three years, we can copy from there. Then we can sum up. Then the discount factor for year zero is one. For year one, we say one divided by 1.1. For year two, we say that divided by 1.1. We can copy for year three like that. Then we can calculate our present values by saying the cash flow multiplied by the discount factor. Then from there, we can calculate the NPV by saying the sum of all the present values. We get that. When we are using the Excel, we say NPV calculate for cash flow for, from year one up to year three, the cash flow, not the present values. Then we add the cash flow for year one. There we have managed to miss the tax rate. Then we get the NPV just like that. Now we want the equivalent annual cost. The equivalent annual cost will say the NPV divided by. Now we want the, the annuity factor for three years at 10%. So we go to our annuity tables. This is present value tables. Our annuity tables, three, 10 years for 10% 10, 10 at three years, we get 2487, 2.487, 2 like that. We get 6250. Then now we go back to our question. Now when running four years, the investment still will be 160,000, but we are told here that the, the scrap value in year four will be 11,000, not 40,000. Then also we are told that uh, the maintenance cost will increase to 12,000 per year, like that. Then we can now calculate our totals. Discount factor in year zero is one. In year one is one divided by 1.1. In year two, it's year one divided by 1.1. Then in year three and year four, we can copy the formula like that. Then for present values, we say the cash flow multiplied by the discount factor. Then from there, we can calculate our net present value by summing all the present values. Then the NPV ten percent. 
our cash flows from year one up to four. We add the cash flow for year one. We get that. Then our equivalent annual cost, we say this figure divided, the present value figure divided by the annuity factor four years at 10%. Four years at ten percent annuity factors is three comma one seven zero. Three comma one seven zero. We get that. So we now see that replacing after four years will cost us sixty thousand one hundred and three, but replacing after three years will cost sixty thousand two hundred and fifty per year. So our decision replace. The machine after four years, as it is cheaper than replacing after every three years. I hope this video has taught, has refreshed you how to calculate the NPV both manually and in Excel, and also refreshed you on the leasing and the buying options and how we choose the lower of the two, and also about the formula for the equivalent annual cost whereby we take the NPV divided by the annuity factor. Thank you very much. If you have just found this uh, video useful, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.